there's such an increase in the number of teachers that take responsibility for English learners. Do you remember the early days when teachers had the attitude that those students are the ESL teacher students and they have responsibility for them and it's just not my area, not my problem and as we've stated all teachers are now teachers at language and I think many, many more teachers now understand that that's their responsibility and gladly accept it because they see that these English learners are in their classroom all day. Mm -hmm. They need more than just 30 minutes mm -hmm. of ESL, so mm -hmm. it's incumbent upon each teacher to try to meet the needs of English learners by practicing the features and components mm -hmm. of the SIOP model. And I think we could probably say that we've helped change the conversation, the educational conversation in the U.S. with the SIOP, particularly when we talk about language and content objectives. I see young teachers coming into districts and they say, oh, of course I have a language objective. Mm -hmm. And you ask them, well, where did you get the notion of this? And, oh, it was just part of our teacher preparation. It's just common practice now. And that's terrific because mm -hmm. that means all of the educators are paying attention to the needs of not only English learners, but other students who need some help with academic literacy. And I think part of the credit may go also to the standards and the need for all teachers being aware that they must be teaching academic language. So it all fits together, doesn't it? So if I'm teaching academic language, then I need to have objectives for that academic language.